Hello everyone, welcome to lab 4.1.3.5 from the course Big Data and Analytics from Cisco. This lab is about decision tree classification and it's about like how to classify and prepare and also fill the non values in the data set. Okay, so first this um, data is about Titanic. Uh, so we are going to train the data based on a target and then we will try to give or test another data here. So what is important here to mention uh, first that we as you know we need to download the content from uh, like upload the file to the Google uh, Colab and then you use the con like this the button instead of the previous one if you are using Google Colab if you use Raspberry Pi so you don't need to change anything. Next we have another a new uh, method here called info where when we type before the types then we can get here more information about like so here we have information about the columns and then the object but to get more information about the data set itself then we can use now the info and here we will have more information for example here we have the index there are the names of the columns here we have the types of the columns and here also we can calculate which one of uh, like which if there was missing or if there are any missing values so for example here as you can see in the cabin uh, 202 only and there we can conclude there are many missing values here okay also in this lab you will learn how to fill the missing values using uh, fill now uh, method okay then we also can train the value uh, to check the, the content or the value and one more of the practices here that we have here male and female and we don't need this actually in this lab because we need an integer or float values to train the model. So there is a, we have to change the value of male or, fem or female to 0 and 1. And of course we can do this using a lambda function. Uh, so we apply to each value in the gender. And if it's 0, then if it's man or it's male, then return 0. Otherwise return else. Again, we present the data here. And as you can see, the data is 0 and 1. Uh, what else also how to fill the non values we can fill the non values using the fill none and then the age was at the beginning uh, many missing values there so we are going to or here it replaces the missing values with the average or the mean value and in a place equals true all right then what we uh, need to conclude here we information again uh, we see that the data here is not missing anymore so at the beginning when we when you will solve the lab you will find the age is not 915 it will be less then you do the modification then you will see the age is 915 okay so there is a question what is the value that was used actually the mean function all right so train underscore the decision and uh, to train the uh, model then we need the target and the target is the survived and then we need the data to to train and here we have the columns this is these are the names of the columns and then we train the model and then to train the model we need to import the sklearn with there is three and then we generate the training model and for the training model we calculate the accuracy and the accuracy of this model is going to be almost 82 um, and then to visualize the tree then we need to save the output of this model into an object the object is going to be dot o as you will see it here this one dot dot sorry not dot o uh, dot the output dot dot into the png file and to do this we need to install the graph fees and after that we do the transformation or converting and then we display the image and this is the classification tree here in this format in the next step we will have a like apply the decision model we will use a testing data we will do the same here as you can see the age is like with the testing is info the age is 307 which is less than the value like 393 and then in this case we need to also fill the non values 
By the way, from here we can conclude that the, there are 393 indexes uh, in this um, data frame. And then also we need to change the value of the male and female to 0 and 1. We fill the ages. And then we test the value again. And you can see the ages now is 393. Okay, and the male gender also is changed to 0 and 1 as needed to train the network. And then we selected the x value to be trained and the y value we already trained it. Then we run the model. We create the, like target head and the target labels is now the new trained model. And to also calculate the accuracy here, we have we can use this function or we can use the accuracy that we use in the part one. And then we evaluate the position tree and here is the position tree as well. So be careful all the files here were uploaded to the Google Colab and the path to use them. Okay, so and then we also change the values here for and then we fill the none and then uh, after that we started to learn uh, or make the training model and then we generate that model after that we calculate the score and the score is going to be 0.82 as expected all right so the file this file is in the description box so you can download it run it and then you can practice with it and if you will have question questions please um, bring them to the lab.